Hey everyone, it's Arden. And I had attempted to do a YouTube live and it wasn't working. So this is the recording for it. And I'm super glad that you are here on my channel. My name is Arden Reese and I am focused on color. That's my love and I love to share that with you. For over 20 years, I've actually been working with clients and helping them to really increase their understanding of their color language how it can help them with how they feel and their confidence and even a level of enlightenment that it brings so my color fluent system it reveals the secret that colors are messengers and they're sending broadcasting messages about you 24 7. and some of these colors are your allies and some of them are your enemies so what i want to do today is really bring forward two color allies and one color enemy that you can watch out for and i'm going to give you some tips for how you can find these for yourself now you wear colors with your clothes you also put them in your home and surround yourself with them and you also wear your emotions as well and your emotions have colors too our correct colors will actually raise our frequency and vibration. And that's really important when you're using the right colors for you. So the first one, the, the one that I find really important is your life guidance color. And this is one of your biggest allies. This color is here to kind of help you focus on what you're here to do on this planet. So you have your soul purpose color, which I'm not gonna go into today, but your life guidance color is the, the color that helps you deliver on your soul's purpose. And it's all about the how. So it's the actual personality um, skills and, and your strengths that it brings forward. There's also, it has some weaknesses too that you always have to watch out about. But your life guidance color is really your ally. It's there to support you and to show you when you're off track. So one of the ways um, that you can use your life guidance color, or you're like, well, how do I find it, right? Okay, let's step back and, and really look at how you find your life guidance color. What I find is the easiest way is to think about your favorite color and that 90% of the time is going to be your life guidance color. Now, there is a way to, if you're intuitive, like many of us are, and you tap in to your guides and to spirit, you can ask them to show you what your life guidance color is. And what I recommend is you just envisioning um, your energy standing in front of you, and you'll see it in the body part the torso of your energy. And this is the also the main color of your aura. So if you get a Kirlian photograph, you know, when you get those aura photos, if you have one of those, take a look and see what the main color is. Um, ask your guides what your life guidance color is. And the third way is to just use your favorite color because 90% of the time it is your life guidance color. Now, each color has a meaning. And when I say color, I'm not talking about, I'm just going to show you this. I'm not talking to you about like the 12 colors in the color wheel. Like, oh, this is yellow is a color, orange is a color. We'll call them hues because they're parents to millions of colors. So for example, blue is a parent to millions of blue colors from light blue to dark blue to navy to robin eggs blue. You get the idea so so there's hues and then there's colors and there are literally the human can actually see i think it was what um rit the rochester institute of technology they identified that the, the human can perceive up to six million colors so and they're all like in variations of each other some may be 1.2 have 1.2 percent white and then the next one might have 1.5 percent white so you can get how there's millions of colors out there so when you're thinking about your life guidance color you want to make sure that it's a color that really supports you and your energy um so 
before I go into the color enemy, because it kind of leads into that, I want to say one more thing about your life guidance color, because this is a color that can actually help you make decisions. So if you have a big decision you're mulling over and it's kind of if you need a yes, you just want a yes or no, but you need a yes. Well, sometimes we want signing our signs, right? But what I mean is when you're looking for a yes or a no, this is a great way to use your life guidance color. You can ask your guides or ask spirit to please show you a sign and show you your life guidance color throughout the day if it is a yes. So whenever you see it, it's like a message like, yes, you're on the right path. Yes to the question that you had. Um, and that can really help you. For a lot of us in the home, we're going to surround ourselves with our life guidance color um, because it is more often than not our favorite color. So you're going to have to step outside of the house <laughs> in order to receive that message from spirit. Okay, so that's it about the life guidance color. Major, major color ally for you. Now, I was leading into color enemies. And your number one color enemy is going to be the color that pulls all of your energy out. And you're like, well, how do I know which one it is? There's a couple, couple of ways. I'm going to share you one really easy way to, to find this color. And then a not so easy, but easier way. I, I know it's like, I don't want color to be confusing for you. It's super fun for me, but I try and make it fun. So the first way is I want you to think back to a time when you were wearing a certain color and everybody kept asking you are you sick how are you feeling you don't look so good and you weren't sick at all but by the end of the day you felt sick okay can you remember a time like that or maybe a time when you wore a color that everybody told you or maybe even your mom like oh you look so good in that color you look so great but by the end of the day you're like i'm freaking exhausted this is like i'm dead that's because you're not well wearing the right color type for you. Meaning you may look good in red, a bright red, but if your energy level can't match the chroma, the intensity of that red you're wearing, it will drain you, completely drain you. So you wanna make sure that the chroma matches. Now you're going, what's chroma? Okay, really quick hue, value and chroma create color so if we look at um this is the munzel color tree if we look at one of them which is red violet you can see that there is colors that go from really dull to bright that's chroma value is from light to dark and hue is actually the red violet hue and so we can make all these crazy fun colors out of one hue so this is what this shows. So if you are more introverted, which is what I call more subdued, that's when we soften a color with gray, you're gonna look better in these softer muted red violets. Now this doesn't come across as super bright on the screen, but trust me, when I look at it, it's really bright. Sometimes red violet, the violets have a hard time coming across the, the monitor. But if you are really animated, then you're better wearing a bright magenta. If you're more lighter, like maybe you're mostly extroverted and you have light hair and light skin, you're gonna look better in the lighter colors, all the lighter ones. But when you go more dull or more subdued, it's gonna actually drain you. So for somebody that has warmer skin um, and warmer, traits the warmer colors the dynamic colors are going to be better for you so these are all the color types there's five of them that i've identified and i'll just show you them really quickly the first one is animated so 10 percent, not even 10 percent of people are animated this is is not a popular color type for us to wear although many of us are like oh i love those bright colors i love those cheery colors and then we put them on and we're like holy crap i hate that color on me i will never step out of the the house wearing like a bright turquoise even though i love blue green oh my god you will not catch me in bright turquoise it it drains me okay so you want to find out which color type drains you i have a quiz that you can take the link is below um, 
one of them is deep when you add black to a color. So for me, it's going to drain me. I'm not a deep personality. These are for the introverts. Sometimes they can go to extroversion and they're really mysterious and yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay, so then this is the dynamic personality. It's when the colors are actually warmed up with yellow or sometimes red. This is my dominant color type. Um, it's a popular one as well. But since my hair went gray, I have supporting color types as well, because believe me, we do not put people in boxes. Never. I don't believe in that. So this, the color types that I've developed, they're based on true color theory. You pick a dominant and then you pick a supporting. And sometimes there's two supporting, but um, just know that you're never going to be in a box. So this is the subdued type. So these colors can be lighter or darker, but they're always muted with gray. And then the final one is clear when it's lighter. Definitely much more for those that have a really extroverted personality and very crisp uh, voice, very clear. So I would probably put myself, like if I were to take some dynamic colors and lighten them a little bit, I would probably be in between these two and sometimes muted, but it depends because those can drain me. So it's based on your energy for the day. Um, if you're feeling uplifted, then you want to wear a brighter color in your color type, but make sure it's in your color type. Okay, so that's how you identify your color enemies by staying away from the colored personalities that are not aligned with you. Um, take the quiz, that will really help you. Now, your the final color I wanted to share today was your color, your one of your color allies, and it's your uplifting color. So, oh my gosh, do you see how cute these flowers are? They're like saying hello. <laughs> so I've got like some orange over here and the orange, and it's just kind of harmonizing also with the violet that I'm wearing. This is a nice harmony. Um, color does this a lot, which I'm always surprised and love. Um, so anyways, I it's kind of like I just went, oh, squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about that. So talking about your uplifting color, your uplifting color is the complement to your hair color. So that's why I call it uplifting, because it's lifting. It's lifting your energy. So for those of you that have brown hair or black hair, you're like, well, the complement to my black hair is white. So do I wear white? Nope. Nope. Again, let's go back to Itten's color star and I'm putting on here that he has this lovely overlays. I don't think you can get this anymore. This is like, unfortunately, out of print. So I love to play with it. But anyways, if you have brown hair, then let me get that there. If you have brown hair, that means that that is actually a deeper version. So it's either a dynamic or deep version of orange. And the complement to orange is blue. So if you have brown hair, then you're going to want to wear a, a kind of blue in your color type. And that's going to be really uplifting. Now, if it's more, okay, I think that was red, orange I was showing. Orange, that's the correct one with blue. Okay. Now, if your hair is red, which means black, if your hair is black, which is the deepest version of red here for pigment, then the complement on the color wheel for artists is green. Now I have a trick for you. Um, Munzel based his color wheel basically on perception, how we see, and it's based on um, RGB, how your monitor works. It's basically that. So if you look at a light color wheel, the complement to red is not green, it's blue-green. So you would go to blue-green, um, which I find is a little bit better. So black hair, blue-green, brown hair, you're gonna go to, um, to blue. And then if you have blonde hair, you're gonna probably go to blue-violet or violet. Now, my hair isn't blonde, it is um, white. And you can tell by my brows, I had really dark brown hair. So if I wore teal, 
that I looked amazing in. That's the uplifting color. It's just like, it magnetizes everybody to you. But now that I have white hair, if I wear a violet, it, it does a little bit and it actually will lift it more. And this is actually has a little red in it. So it's a little bit more dynamic, kind of hard to tell because the light here is a little bit cooler than my coloring naturally is. So my coloring is fairly warm. So I this is a warm violet. Now I could wear, if you have white hair, you can wear the complement, which is black, but make it as soft as your hair color is. Mine is actually a soft white, has a little bit of green in it. So if I wear a soft black, then that's going to look really good on me, more like a charcoal. Okay, so that's your uplifting color. It's a complement to your hair color and it lifts your frequency and vibration. It's really a fun color to wear. You're going to get lots of compliments wearing it. So two color enemies and really one color, two color allies. <laughs> and one color enemy and those are the colors that um, really are going to help you once you know how to pick them out they're going to really support you remember colors are messages messengers and they're speaking about you 24 7. so you want to make sure you're using your allies to be sending the right messages so that you can feel really confident about yourself about what you're putting out there and also what you're sharing with the world it helps with the, in your business as well to be using the right colors, the right messengers, because color truly is a language and getting color fluent is what I do to really help you step forward into the world as your most authentic self. So thank you for being here. Make sure to take the quiz by clicking on the link below and I'll see you soon.